There's a train coming in. A view from my spot along the river, right where it plunges over an impoundment. And you got old mill buildings repurposed every which way. Looks like a bunch of Canada's up above going off to crap on someone's lawn somewhere. Maybe it's crows. Lily pads galore. And this looks upriver toward Bedford. The vastness of Pomp's Pond. Seen here from Trail Terrace. Overlooking it all. Conversation with a wonderful local, highly knowledgeable. sharp pick pick sound of the woodpecker places just overrun with pond lilies all those little bits of white out there Probably the timetabling of it all. Well, the ones I observed in Kingston were starting to already fade. These are still pretty robust, so we got a bit of difference ever so slight in latitude. It's a curious chickadee. What's this human up to? They're great. <laughs> Now this is a good view of Pomp's Pond. It was named after Pompey, a slave who found freedom and settled around these parts and had a little world for himself until he passed away. I'll be exploring <clears throat> this facility more extensively at some point. It belongs to the Andover Conservation Commission. And there's yet another of the petals of the flower centered around Allardvale. Now over here my main mission for this part of the day. As you can see, lo and behold, it's the big pine tree that may well be a bridge across the Shashin for the intrepid, unlike cautious elderly slobs such as myself. However, this is the very same bend of the river that hairpin point now seen from the upper shore and we have come I have come and what do I have a tapeworm I came <coughs> from this direction and that's where I'll weave my way back and uh, then figure out what to do next maybe visit a couple more places